welcome back to Freelander Nation News. I'm Quentin Rowland. Our story tonight, the war of Eagle Ridge and archery. Some say it's a war that must be fought, others say it's not necessary at all. Our reporters are with the directors of Each Side Now to give us a story. Which side do you think will prevail in the end? And Graham. Can you tell me where this anger came up from? Well, no matter what they say, um, Eagle, Ridge, Eagle Ridge threw the first punch. Uh, last year, they came over and tossed trash in our area. They trash talk your area? How did they trash talk your area? No, they tossed trash. They just oh, they tossed threw trash. a bag of trash at us. Okay. Well, why did they do that? Did, did they have any specific reason? I don't know. I think that their leader, Mike Weiler, is just a tool. Just a tool? Okay, and uh, did you do anything back to uh, fight back at him? We did. After that, um, our aggression retaliation was to take arrows and stab them into the ground in their area. Stab them into the ground. Mm -hmm. There's been a question if you stabbed them or if you shot them into their area. They were stabbed. We did not take those out of there. Okay, alright, cool. Um, uh, so, you say that he's a tool. Why do you say he's a tool? Well, he uses silly catchphrases like, suck it up, buttercup. And you can just kind of tell. You can tell. Okay, um, so ha there's been some rumors going on that the Eagle Ridge have actually retaliated against yours with sunflower seeds planting them. They have, yeah. They they came by a few weeks ago and apparently planted a, a garden all around the archery range. I've yet to see any evidence, but they claim to have done it. Okay, do you plan any further retaliation? Well, yes we do. Um, our last offensive attacks over the last two years have mostly involved their water coolers, um, throwing them in the lake, sending them with a flagpole, stuff like that. Um, so we'll probably do some sort of water cooler arrow mix up or combine the two the two tactics. Okay, cool. So Shouldn't the arrow be pointing the other way? What do you mean? They are the enemy. Oh, okay. Hey. Eagles. <laughs> so, what started the war? Well, I'm not really sure where it dates back. Sometime last year. Have you ever seen that guy that walks around with no emotion? Chris Abel? He did something that really irritated me. And I retaliated by throwing water on his area. So, what did they do to retaliate to you after that? They took our water cooler and they threw it in the water. <laughs> they threw it in Lake Slavin, man. Now our water's contaminated, our kids can't drink water, and everybody blames it on me. Okay, so I've heard that this war has become rather heated recently. What are some of the recent developments? Well, they came back, they took our water cooler again, they threw it in the water, so we went to Myers, we bought some seeds, and we planted a garden in the yard tree field. That way, our garden will be there forever. It'll be like Eagle Ridge forever, right? So what I want you guys to think of, think of this as archery. This is, this is Eagle Ridge right here. We're gonna crush archery. I don't like them anymore. They've been shooting arrows into our area. I'm getting really fed up with the whole entire thing. Okay, thank you. <laughs> so. What do you think about this war? I think war is terrible for everyone on camp and that we should all try to get along. Okay. So how do you think how do you think are there any ways that you think that peace could be met between these two areas? 
Yeah. Uh, peace could be achieved through friendship and, and uh, you know what, I'm going to be honest with you, this is horse I don't believe any of this. I think the war is great, I think it's improving everything, everyone's morale, we're all taking sides, we're getting into it, it's good, it's good stuff, it's making everyone learn new things about each other, like Mike Weiler, brilliant tactician. Sure. Brian, you can hit an apple from a thousand yards with something. I don't know what it is, though. Okay. Yeah. So, do you think any other areas will get involved like that? Involved in this war, like handicraft or outdoor skills? Okay. ODS, outdoor skills will definitely be involved. Uh, they're kind of. They're a bit like mercenaries, I'm just going to go for whoever's got the best sweet form. Handicraft, on the other hand, we're real smart. We're going to stay out of direct conflict. What we're going to do, we're going to supply things to people. We're just going to make money both sides. We'll sell them the stuff they need. We get archery, I don't know, maybe some possible sticks. I might make some bows out of it. I don't know what they're going to do with it. But they want them. We got them. Money. Right there. So which side, if any, do you hope will win? I, I, I don't want the war to end, because when the war ends, the money stops. And when the money stops, the economy goes down, and then we all lose our jobs. And the innovation stops with the money. Do you think the end of the war is inevitable? Yes. Not as long as I can keep it alive. Which side do you think will prevail in the end? And crack. We're going to make a lot of money. Okay. Okay. Yeah. In other news, the local sky spotted what it needs to be a manatee off the coast of Lake Mark. Over there. Rumors are spe is circulating that Scout has spent over $400 on slushies. Scout masters are baffled as to why he would be so good. A recent attempt on the life of Chuck Brantford was foiled when the Secret Service tackled him to the ground and out of his way. <laughs>